my very first two videos that I have on YouTube, uh, it, I did a mini arm wor uh, workout. Um, it was something that I did at the end of my uh, workout, and I had some energy, and I decided to do it, and I posted on YouTube. And uh, someone, actually two ladies have asked me uh, about it. I mean, I didn't think much of it. I just put it out there. And uh, they wanted to know, they want me to explain some of the things that I did. So um, yesterday while I was at the gym, um, I, f I was doing abs and I finished whatever I was doing. There weren't that many people at the gym. So I decided to record uh, a little set of uh, the forearm and my biceps because that's what I did uh, on that video. So pretty much what uh, when I'm working, these are th these kind of exercises I don't do often. Uh, for instance, uh, I work my shoulders a lot, maybe twice a week or whenever. And usually when I see that my shoulder is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit big, muscular, and uh, my biceps and my forearms sort of doesn't match with. Uh, my shoulders, then I'll do some of these exercises, my forearm and my biceps. And like I said, I don't do them often. So when I work on my forearm, what I do is that I set the bench at a really inclined angle. I'll say maybe uh, 30 to maybe 40 degrees could be a bit higher. I don't know, but enough for me to rest my, uh, my arm, my biceps and triceps on because I want to isolate these muscles when I work the forearm. And uh, as you can see, your your wrist can only move so much. So it could go up and down, which is very limited, and side to side, which is also limited. They probably have a term for it, but I can't think of it right now. So what I do, originally I used to, when I first started doing this, I started with five pounds for my wrist. So now I'm, the wrist is kind of strong enough, so I'm moving up to 10 pounds. And right now I'm going side to side, you know, because that's, there's no other way my wrist can move besides that and the other way I'm, that I'm going to do it. So I usually do maybe 20 of this or until my wrist is tired, and then I'll go up and down the opposite, um, up and down with the um, dumbbell and I'll do also 20 of that or until my wrist is tired of it so I do that and it works you know really it really works your forearm because I, I don't even do it that much I could see the difference in my forearm and imagine if I do it often so my forearm will be out of this world I think I think I'm over exaggerated but um, I don't need it to be too big but I just want it to be uh, equally uh, match with the rest of my body so that's why I do these sometimes so now I'm showing I'm doing my I'm gonna do my biceps so for biceps I'll move a little bit higher um, right now I'm using 25 pounds for some it may not be a lot but <laughs> it is for me so I, sometimes I do 30 but I just anyway so I'm doing uh, uh, the biceps just regular bicep. I'm not twisting my arms, uh, my wrist once it get uh, close up. So it's regular biceps um, curl. I'm doing, I think I did 10 of that. And I don't go all the way down because if you go all the way down, you don't want to really injure your elbows and your shoulders. So you go at a descent angle and then you bring it back up. That's for me. The guys probably do it differently. And again, I'm showing you I'm going to do my biceps again. Now, I'm going to do the twist. I don't do it with the, with the heavy weight. Um, so I'm going to go up and down. Once I get up close to the bicep, I'm going to do a little bit of twisting. So that will bring the peak of the um, biceps. So I'm taking a little break here. So now I'm using a 20-pound. I went down 5-pound. There the, there's the twist. Go back down and then a twist then a twist so this is some of the things that I do for the biceps um, each part of the body some part of the body like your legs will go can go as heavy as possible and each part like the the abs they don't need that much weight um, I, I, in my mind I think that uh, the smaller muscles 
use um, minimum um, weight, the bigger muscles need a heavier weight. So again here I'm using, I'm going to do the left side and I'm going to work my forearm and I go back to 10 pounds because I don't need to be too heavy and uh, rest my uh, biceps and triceps against the, uh, the, the seat, the pad and uh, now I'm doing the up and down motion. That's two ways your wrist can go, up and down and side to side. So when you do that, it's working all the muscles that uh, associate with this kind of movement. And uh, usually um, I see people use a barbell and uh, they extend, the full arm is extended. And this is great. I'm, sh I'm sure it's perfect, but it's not for me. The reason I think it's not for me is that uh, when you you have a heavy weight, um, you know, pulling against your joint, and there's not that much motion going on, um, it will tend to. I, I feel like the joint, my wrist joint, is like pulling apart. I don't know if you understand it, but um, that's how I, I think. I mean, once in a while, I guess it's okay. But to do it uh, all the time, I don't think it's good for the joint. So by doing this, resting the arm against the pad, it's really helping um, eliminate uh, any risk injury injuries. So this is why I do it like that. And the gym that I go to actually have a, a pad for, you know, to do your biceps. But uh, I have some of the guys help me sometimes to fix it, but once they, you know, they adjusted to my height and it's still a bit shaky. At one point I was using it, uh, it slide down. So I just eliminated it completely. So I just focus on the uh, bench and it, uh, ever since I started using it, I think it's great. And I've seen great improvement because you isolate muscles that you don't want to use and uh, you involve muscles that you want to get involved in the exercise. So I think um, doing it like that is much better. And uh, I mean, you could try it if you think it's, uh, you know, my explanation sort of uh, makes sense. And uh, like I said, you don't need to go heavy. Just make sure the muscles that you're trying to target is being targeted. It uh, you want make sure you hit the you make the muscles that you want to um, target work, and isolate all the other ones that you don't wanna you don't want to use. So this is a great isolation for me, I think, um, for when I'm doing the forearm and the biceps and the risk and um, it really helps a lot so thanks for watching and if you like it let me know and I'm getting better with my uh, uh, voice recording kind of thing